What's up YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer and this is my quick review of the Mode King Super F. And as you can see, this thing looks almost identical to the original one. Looks exactly like it. It's a dead ringer for it. Let me get the original one. Show you guys this. A size comparison. <laughs> this thing looks like the same quad. So much to the point where people were thinking that this was actually the same size as the original Mole King or they were unsure about what size it was. People were thinking that it was a larger quad than it really is. But as you can see, it is a micro sized quad, but look, just looks just like it. Just a few design changes underneath. But for the most part, it's a dead ringer for it. On the original one I did, these are custom props that I put on. I made these props like that and I bent the legs out. At first they looked just like this. <laughs> so they kept the design language that they had. They were uh, doing well with, with the Mo King Super S. And this thing flies just like the Mo King Super S. Its flight characteristics are the same. Well, the same as the one I have because the Mo King Super S did come out with a version at first that had a super fast yaw and then they corrected it with the version that I have I think is better because the yaw on third rate is more manageable it's almost perfect same with this thing this thing has a an almost perfect yaw and it's third rate and uh, the mid rate is not bad at all the uh, low rate is uh, pretty docile awesome for beginners this thing is a nice flyer. It's a really nice flyer, but one thing that I am disappointed about is the pitch on it. This thing doesn't have enough pitch. Uh, in my style of flying, I like to have a lot of pitch because having more pitch uh, coupled with that fast yaw allows for more maneuverability and for you to do harder turns and stuff like that. More sportier flying with it. But for the, for the most part, this is... Uh, pretty sporty it does really nice uh funnels but they could be better because the pitch isn't that deep on the funnels and i just think funnels are more awesome when the pitch is deep on them uh, <laughs> but a lot of um i guess a lot of people like uh funnels that are not deep but uh that's just another uh, <laughs> that's just another argument but i really like the way this thing flies i just think it needs a little more pitch it's it flies just like the original one. <laughs> so the things that I didn't like about the original Super S are the same with this one. Uh, but I guess they were successful, so successful with the um, Super S that they thought to keep everything the same. So really no difference in this and the larger version except for the protocol. I haven't been able to figure out which protocol this thing is on. So it binds to nothing and unfortunately... I really don't like this transmitter. This is the same transmitter that came with Uranus. And no, this isn't on the same protocol as Uranus. Uh, this thing is on a different protocol. Somebody asked that question while well, they was thinking that uh, this actually had the board from the Mold King Uranus. But no, this isn't the same board as Uranus. So, um, the this doesn't have that speedy yaw that Uranus has. This has a more manageable yaw. It's nicer, I think. And in my opinion, those super fast yaws are just good for show and for having fun if you have a really nice headless mode. Other than that, it doesn't work um, uh, really much um, as to help the flight characteristics because you can't really fly around and maneuver around with that fast yaw like that. Um, but this thing has a really nice yaw and high rates as I said the lighting is really good but I'm imagining if you get the black version you're probably not going to have as good night flight you're probably not going to be able to fly it at night because um just as with the larger version they use the same type of plastic to make it so I'm pretty sure that the black version will have you not being able to fly uh, night flights because the lights just are not going to show up through the black version but as you can see, the black version seems like it always looks better. But I just go with the white version because I'm a big fan of night flights. And this thing does fly really nice at night. One of the negatives I have that I didn't like about it as well is 
that they have this system where you plug there's a socket there for you to plug the lipo in and I really don't like that system um, I just would rather have the, all the wires hanging out because you run into problems like this where there's barely enough give on the wire to plug it in but once you get it plugged in you have green lights in the front and blue in the back and they're very visible very visible at night as well awesome night flights with this thing it kind of rattles a little just like the the original one the bit larger version it is i think due to the type of plastic that it's made with and this one does not have an on and off switch either but a pretty awesome little flyer i really like it it came with these prop guards here Prop guards are held on with one screw. I removed the prop guards because the prop guards actually add unwanted weight for sporty flying. So you're not going to be able to fly really sporty with that and the legs on at the same time. I actually like to, re to remove the legs as well. But only problem is with the legs, you remove the legs and... It spins. It's not actually all the way level, but it's level enough for you to accelerate the, to um get the accelerometers calibrated to take off. So once you do take off with it, it's pretty awesome flying it without the legs and all. But when you come down for the landing, just know that it's not going to be completely level. Somebody said that theirs is level, but mine's definitely isn't. And so um, yeah, pretty awesome fly. It does nice flips, and the transmitter is just hideous. I don't like this transmitter at all. The buttons on it. Um, I just don't like this transmitter. Uh, but this transmitter uh, does it serves its purpose, I guess. Um, it does um, stick a little. Sometimes this throttle stick, I found that it sticks a little. And uh, sometimes it might appear that it's yawn on its own. But it's just the transmitter because um, I know that because the Mold King Uranus actually has that same transmitter, but it's on a different protocol. So I didn't understand that. But this button here is the flip button here. And the other button on this side, if you hold it down, it'll uh, change the lights. And if you uh, press it down, just uh, one press, it'll change the rates. It does have three rates. The highest rate is the rate that I stay in the most um, because it, it barely has any pitch as it is. And the highest rate gives it the most pitch, but it's still not deep enough. In my opinion, I think it should have a little more pitch. Now, it doesn't really come with a manual. It actually just comes with this paper here, this one page, which pretty much uh, is a condensed version of uh, instructions for it. Just tells you the basic functions of it not bad at all it is perfect english though so i can say that the other side is in chinese but that's it the mold king super f pretty nice flyer i like the way it flies thanks for watching